I'm here with Andrew Wallace from Jadu. What is this? This is an actual hydrogen canister. And if I drop it, it's not going to explode? Drop it. <laughs> okay, we're safe. Good deal. First test passed. The first one's done. Yeah. All right. Now tell me more about this. So we're actually the only company in the United States that can ship these filled with hydrogen. And we're the only ones that's making this mm -hmm. with the actual digital display. So you can actually push this display. It tells you how much hydrogen is in the canister. Just like a Duracell battery. That's right. But even better, OK? Because with a Duracell battery, if you let it sit on the shelf for a few weeks or a few months for sure, mm -hmm. it's going to be self-discharging. This you can sit on the shelf for years, and you'll have the same amount of hydrogen years from now as you did when you, when you first charged it. Okay. Now, earlier you said this is a, a powder form? Yeah, so we store the hydrogen in the powder. We do that, the powder essentially opens up a lot of surface area, so the hydrogen is stored at a very low pressure. Okay. We do that so it's very safe. And so the pressure in here is only about 100, 100 PSI. Mm -hmm. This canister is rated to over 6,000 PSI. Wow. So there's a lot of safety margin in there. Okay. That was part of how we got that, that Department of Transportation. That's probably very the restrictions that would be pretty thick. Okay. Absolutely. And this is how much power is stored in this? So this, the, the, how we try to describe as energy, mm -hmm. so it's really 130 watt hours of energy. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, if, if your camera, like a camera there, is mm -hmm. pulling 16 watts, you take 130 divided by 16, and you get about eight hours. Okay. A lot of laptops pull about 20 watts, mm -hmm. so that'll give you about six hours of runtime. Okay. Right? But what's nice about it is you can use it part way, and no problem, a month later, use it the other part. It doesn't matter. It's not like a battery where, you, you know, if you use it a little bit, you're going to want to do a recharge pretty soon thereafter. And how long does it take to recharge this? So it's eight hours of use on an average product. Yep. And then um, how much uh, recharge time are we looking at? It's a great question. So you can do a full recharge in under an hour. Mm -hmm. okay? The real benefit, though, is that you can actually fill it just for a few minutes, pull it out, and use it. Mm -hmm. That's no problem. If you just want to use it for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. go ahead. If you want to use it for 10% and then just fill it back up, it's no problem. There's no partial filling issues there. OK, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said if I plug it up to this box right here? Go ahead. So plug it back into this one. Okay, so there it actually is turned on, mm -hmm. okay? The light here is on now, okay? And this camera is actually on as well. And that's all it takes to be running, okay? You're up and running already. You just started a fuel cell. Wow. Okay. Now, what are some of the things we'll see this in? Because uh, right now, that's obviously too big to put in something like a cell phone or yep. something small. When will we see uh, that miniaturized? So a great example is emergency response. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard some of the stories what happened in Katrina. Well, Photographers are, uh, so you know all about it, okay? So uh, what happened is police officers were literally the stories of them going into Walmart and taking radios off right, the shelf, right. okay? Here, you can use this fuel cell and power all of these. Mm -hmm. And you can store that hydrogen for years, and it's there available when you need it. So things like communications, then no problem. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And in this case, it's really just a battery recharger. That's fine, too. So for this unit, these are actually just being charged by this, these aren't individual cells in this, okay? Exactly. Here we're, at, we're powering it, uh, a tough book. That's okay. a great application as well. It's really any application where you want off-grid, you, and you won't be able to plug in for some time. Mm -hmm. Any type of application. So we've seen things, um, people doing photography for, for animal wildlife uh, shoots, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Out in the middle of nowhere, we have no chance of... That's right, and they're out there for weeks at a time. How do they get power? Or surveyors, right? That's a great example of okay. where they may be out there surveying various uh, sites, and they might be out grid for a few weeks at a time until so they can use this product. And when can we see something like this available to the consumer? It, it already is now. We've been selling this product for over two years, mm -hmm. primarily into the broadcast industry. Mm -hmm. What's new to us now is that we've added a number of adapters, mm -hmm. and so now you can put, put power a cigarette lighter, or banana plugs, or an XLR, a bunch of other connectors that more people in, that are general consumers tend to use. Right, give, give the power to whatever product they're using. Exactly. All right, that's awesome. Well, Andrew, I appreciate the help. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. a lot.